you find and locate your central vacuum. And it works. So that is how to fix your central vacuum, whether it's through a clogged pipe or a broken pipe or a completely full reservoir. This is the end that would go right into your central outlet. If you have a problem where your central vacuum cleaner is not sucking in strong enough or turns on in the garage or wherever it is placed, but it's not actually generating any suction from the outlets, this is what you should do. Now I've called an installation person just to see what they would do. I paid 200 bucks to do it. And well, it was a pretty easy fix. So the first step that you need to do is you need to identify what exactly is the problem. Is the problem with the machine itself or is the problem with the actual piping? There's a clog in your house that's a pretty easy fix. All you need to do is grab yourself a shop of vacuum like this. And you use this to suck up any debris from your central vacuum. Now, this is a heavy duty one, which means the pipe is extra large, which means for this, you're gonna need an adapter. Okay, so this is a converter uh, that you can buy online. Does this provide you with various different uh, adapters that you can plug into the original pipe, right? So we go right over and then that gives you a different tip. And then again, you put over it. And this is the end that would go right into your central outlet. You need to identify where all your outlets are. Then you wanna start sucking the debris from each one of those outlets. Hold it in there for about 10 to 15 seconds. Once you have done that, you go back to the first one, you place this one in it, and you go and open the other outlets and check if there is suction. If you can hear the next one that's closest to the one that you're sucking the debris out, that means that there's no clog between that one and the one you're sucking in. So then you continue throughout the house till you find it. Now, usually two-story houses in North America have one in a basement and three on the main. If that didn't work, you find and locate your central vacuum. So this is a beam, there is a main switch right here. If the machine turns on, then you gotta figure out what the issue is with. Now you have one little plug in here, so this you can connect, so you can directly connect and suck right into here. This pipe on the side is actually what uh, your central home vacuum system is connected into. So all the debris goes in right into here. And then within here, there is a filter. So now let's take this off. I actually already cleaned this and I gotta tell you, it was so, so full. So you can open this up and then you want to dump anything that's in here. This is your filter, so you can see that it's clean, but you can clean this off a little more if you wanted to. But let's assume that you've already done this. You've cleaned out your reservoir, not the problem as well. Then you want to see if there's perhaps any damage to the piping. Yeah, just make sure that this is all sealed all the way around things. So you want to go and check the seals. Maybe there is a crack in there. Uh, maybe there is some moisture or you sucked up something that created a crack in the plastic. Um, more than likely inside the house, obviously you won't be able to, to tell, but outside you will. Now in my case, you can go down the pipe and see that it's actually broken. Yes, so this entire piece was just lying here and it was broken. Now this piece is connected right into this piece right here. And this is the piece that actually goes into the house. So the problem here is that I need to cut around here and I need to clean this part out and make sure that it's ready for the coupling. And then once that is solved, this will fix our central vac problem. So to fix our problem, we found a flexible central vacuum hose. This is really nice because it bends and we don't have to fuse different elbows. So this is obviously the one that cracked, right? But we will need some couplers. So here is uh, one. This is a two inch pipe, so we need a coupler to go in here, like so. So this is a perfect fit. You can find this at Home Depot. I'm gonna leave links for you guys so you can see. Um, this one I grabbed at Lowe's, but Home Depot does sell them as well. Perhaps you can find them on Amazon as well. I haven't looked, but I will find the links and leave them below. And then we get a clamp, and then we put the clamp on here and tighten it. Now we will also be gluing this with the OD premium grade yellow ABS cement. Uh, you use this for any piping, essentially. Uh, this is what this was glued with. So we really don't need to use both. We can use one or the other. You can also get extensions and elbows and whatnot. You have 90 degree elbows, then you have the 
you can join them as well. And then there's also a coupler with a 90 degree, right? So this one is gonna go on that end and this end is gonna go right into the broken end inside the wall. So instead of trying to figure out what to do here, we're just gonna go and cut it. So I managed to cut it as it's like three inches in. We're gonna test it out without the couplings, just with the flexible hose. <clears throat> so this will fit right over like that, right? And, and then now, we're gonna connect the other end. There we go. So that's in. Let's test it. Putting this in and let's see if there's suction. Works. And it works. Since the vacuum cleaner seems to be working, we're gonna essentially just connect it with these. So we're about this much onto the pipe and this is holding nice. I will be keeping these couplers and extensions just in case I'm gonna go and glue this again maybe in a couple of days once I've had time to test this vacuum to make sure that the seal and the suction is good. I'm pretty certain that these will work because this is overlapping that one and that one. So there's really no loss of suction if you found this video educational please click the bell for other videos similar to this thanks for watching